Namaskar. Greetings from India. At the outset, I would like to thank the organizers of the Ideal Village Conference for inviting me to share educating rural and understanding children in India. India is a land of villages. 70% of the population lives in the villages, in the rural areas. So, 70% of the children who need to go to school, who are to be educated, live in villages. And the second important aspect is, while educating these children, they are mostly first generation learners. A large majority of the population has been illiterate. The challenge is to bring literacy to these families through these children. So, the issue of reaching education to the rural masses, making villages ideal, is important. The most important issue in reaching education to the rural masses is of language. India has about 3,500 languages, out of which nearly 2,000 are threatened languages, 1,500 are living languages with more than 10,000 speakers and the promise is to reach education to the children in the mother tongue. 22 languages are scheduled in the Indian constitution. So mostly education is provided in the 22 languages. The children who speak these 22 languages are privileged, rest are deprived. The most important issue in providing education to the rural masses is of providing education in the mother tongue. The age of starting school is six years. By the time they come to school, they have wasted so much time learning their mother tongue, which is not a language of education, that they are not able to cope with the pressure of the school and they drop out. It has been studied and found that they are the majority. They drop because they are not able to cope with the language pressure. The second most important issue is of providing a good school in the rural areas. Through the Sarv Shiksha Abhyan, the government of India has tried to build school buildings, but there is so much paucity of teachers, good teachers. Teachers don't like to go and stay in villages. They don't like to stay there because their own children have to go to good schools. So they like to stay in towns and as a result, teacher absenteeism is a major issue in India. Even those teachers who are employed, stay in towns, visit the school once in a while. So teacher absenteeism is a major issue. The government of India this year has issued a national education policy 2020 through which it aspires to do two things. Provide education to the very young children in their mother tongue. The age for starting school was six years. Now it has been decided to bring children at the age of three. Those who were majorly deprived would now be privileged in the sense that they would be provided education in their mother tongue from the age of three. So by the time they are six years old, they would be able to receive education in their mother tongue and cope with the system of schooling. They would be able to talk to teacher in their mother tongue and feel at home. They would have started schooling at the age of three, so they would be ready for schooling. Now, because we don't have teachers in the rural areas, technology can be a big booster. And as you have decided to talk about sustainability and pandemic, pandemic had taught our teachers and taught a lesson to the government planning as well that education has to be through technology, technology augmented because most villages will not be getting a good teacher. So technology has to be used. But technology doesn't come without its own agenda. One is most of the content created is on the cutting edge technology. The rural areas, the rural children are deprived of the latest technological gadgets and connectivity. 
so they are again deprived because the students the learners who are rich and who are in urban areas have access to good technology through which they can learn what about the village children what about the rural children mostly the latest content is not created on sustainable or most appropriate technology like radio like television because they are considered obsolete in education most of the content is not created in on radio but they are available to the rural children so in using technology we have to grow with two issues one of making content the latest content available on most appropriate technology and reach it to children who are in the villages in the rural areas if the best teachers do not create content on the most appropriate sustainable technologies the rural children will again be deprived so that will be an issue to grapple with another major issue is of making schools inclusive the schools in the rural areas have not been made inclusive most schools do not even have a ramp forget about a teacher who is able to interpret the lessons for the deaf in sign language or help those who are autistic or learning disability or mental retardation as it was mentioned i have i was chair of the national institute of open schooling the largest open school of the world a large number of parents in urban areas are shifting to open schooling to home schooling home tutoring but what about the village children they are first generation learners who will teach at teach them at home they are doubly deprived so home schooling is not an option for the villages we will have to look for possibilities of bringing technology to the children and bringing content girls and the differently abled according to one survey nearly 20 million indian population is hearing impaired as chairman of the national institute of open schooling this was brought to my notice and we decided to convert all our lessons in sign language today this is a government of india scheme to reach out to all differently abled hearing impaired students through the sign language lessons not only converting the content in sign language but also indian sign language as a subject as a language is being taught so imagine those children who are hearing impaired are in villages how deprived are they they do not have access to a school and even if there is a school there is no teacher even if there is a teacher he or she doesn't know sign language what will this child do we need a very intricate micro planning for rural children especially the deprived ones girls are again doubly deprived most schools did not have toilet in 2004 when the present government came to power the narendra modi government the prime minister decided that every school must have a toilet for boys girls and the differently abled i'm very happy to share during 2014 15 15 16 all school were equipped with a toilet for girls 2018 19 survey says the participation of girls has increased by 5% if we want to educate our rural population we want to reach out to the less privileged village children who are linguistically deprived technologically deprived otherwise deprived we will have to have a very intricate micro planning for the schools in rural areas where the majority children reside and they are deprived i have absolutely no hesitation in saying that all these years we have neglected these children maybe because of the paucity of funds we have always been bickering that 6% of the gdp must be spent on education which has not been done the government has not promised and we hope that will become a reality thank you very much once again for inviting me and giving me this opportunity all the best for the conference thank you namaskar